Hey friends, when getting started with Playwright for end-to-end -end testing or synthetic monitoring with Checkly, many people wonder how you can debug your automation scripts in a headless world. And this is exactly what we'll cover in this video. Let's go. As always, I have a quick example page here running on localhost that only includes a sign in button that disappears when you click it. And when you refresh every now and then there will be a modal asking me if I want to receive a surprise, which then leads to this lovely raccoon image being rendered. And on the left side, I have a playwright test that covers this exact functionality. I won't go into the details of what this script does here right now, but let's find out how we could debug this script with the tools that playwright provides. But before we get into debugging, let's run this script by going to the terminal and typing npx playwright test. When we now run this, we will see that this test succeeds in roughly 2.3 seconds. So how could we have a look what is going on? For quick debugging, one of my preferred ways is pretty much just turning off headless mode and appending to the script the headed flag. And now we see Chromium coming up and we can now have a look what happens in this particular script. But as you've seen, this was rather quick. So how could we have another look? Luckily, Playwright provides a native way to debug all your scripts. So when you go back to the terminal and you change the headed flag to the debug flag, now Playwright will spin up the native debugging UI. So on the left side, we now see Chromium with our testing session. On the right side, we have the Playwright inspector. And it comes with all the usual things that you are familiar with from your debugging sessions. You can press play or you can go over every step of your end-to-end -end testing script step by step. And Playwright is even so nice and signals you what elements it's interacting with. So you can go step by step and you can debug what is going on with the native debug UI. Additionally to the debug mode, you could also check out Playwright's UI mode. So when I change the debug flag to dash dash UI, you can inspect all your test cases from this native Playwright UI. So if you haven't seen this, this is very familiar to the trace files that Playwright provides. You have all your test cases on the left side. You can run them from here. You can even enable watch mode if you're actively developing your test cases. And when you run a particular test, you see all the actions here in the actions panel. You get screenshots on top. And for every action, you see what the script is doing. You can get an HTML snapshot of your application when this action was taken. You can inspect the network waterfall, console log messages, errors, your script. Overall, Playwright's UI mode is just a wonderful way to inspect what your Playwright scripts are doing. But there might be situations where you want to run Playwright's UI mode with a head full, so with an open browser. Is that possible too? Where we go back to the terminal and we combine the dash dash UI flag with the headed flag, we can now run all our Playwright scripts from the Playwright UI and we can follow along with the head fold, with the open browser while our scripts are running and we still get all the debug information here right in the Playwright UI. So this is pretty sweet, but it doesn't help with debugging our scripts step by step. How could we do this in UI mode? Here's a Playwright pro tip. Whenever you run your Playwright scripts locally with the headed flag or in head full mode, you can always go into your scripts and you can call await page pause. And what happens now is that Playwright will run the browser and whenever it hits this page pause, it will spin up the debugging UI. So when we now remove the UI flag here for a second and we call Playwright test headed, we see here the Chrome window and now it discovered the page pause and brings up the Playwright inspector so that I could now have a look at what is going on. And the cool thing here is that this now also works when I run UI mode with a head full browser. So what we have now here is Playwright's UI mode. Let me make that a little bit bigger. And when we run it, Chromium will show up. But the catch here right now is that this runs in head full mode. Now it discovers that there's a page dot pause and now check this out. We are now here in our UI mode and I can go step by step. And now we just combined Playwright's UI mode with the native debugger. And I think this is pretty, pretty cool. These are the native ways to debug your Playwright scripts. But if you are using VS Code, you can also leverage the Playwright extension that gives you a similar view to the native UI mode. 
And what you can do from here is you can drop all these page pause things and you can set breakpoints in your Playwright scripts and you can run them right from within VS Code. So you see here that I have show browser enabled and when I now debug this script from here, we can see Chromium showing up and we can now use VS Code to go step by step over the script. So when we now go here, we see that it's clicking this button, we can hit it again and we can move forward. And overall, the VS Code extension is another way to inspect and debug all your Playwright end to end test cases. So what's my preferred way to debug my Playwright scripts? I honestly find myself jumping back and forth. To write end-to-end -end tests, I usually rely on Playwright's UI mode because it allows me to watch files, rerun the tests, and gives me all the information that I need. But for more complex test cases, I heavily rely on Playwright's VS Code extensions so that I can start debugging right in my editor and also interact with the opened Chromium window. Do you have other ways to debug your Playwright scripts? If you have any, please drop a comment below. And always remember, if you're using Playwright for end-to-end -end testing, running in CI/CD, you might want to check out Checkly to monitor your websites and web apps from around the globe on a schedule to really be certain that everything is working properly. And with that, I will talk to you very, very soon again.